Well, it's been a little while since I emptied that barrel. It's 15 gallons. So what I do is I just pop that up like that, shine a light down in there and say, ooh, I see the dust. And generally if the dust is up to about that right there, then I empty it because if it gets up in here, then it sends it through the system, through the impeller and all that. And I don't really care for that. So now all I got to do is just take this little thing off right here, open it up, pull the pin off, and slide this out. That little oak dust is a little heavy. Get that off of there. Man. Sometimes it's a little bit of a bugger just to get it to come off there, but two hands I can pop it off of there and then it just lifts off. So let me get that done. On this barrel, I could tell it was, you know, a little heavy because that's all oak pretty much. And, uh, you know, this is just uh, cleaning up from the floor and the table saw and the joiner so that's what's filled this up mainly is from the joiner and it fills it up pretty fast so you go dump that in the barrel because tomorrow's trash day and all right when you tap into the deal in that little old 15 gallon barrel is uh Oneida aircom that's the place to get your stuff from so that thing is a sweet a tool and again, you know, I just put that ring back up on there and lift it up there and line it up and then put the ring on there and it clips on there and put that hose on top and we're done. All right, a few seconds later, ring's popped on there. That's self-centering. And then I just pop that back on there and we're ready to go. Virtually painless. Just one little dump out the dumpster and it dumps it out quick. So that's one of the easiest methods there is to cleaning. And then my other side, when we're talking about shop vac cleaning, is my other dust deputy. Of course, it's on the hose. And I've seen a lot of guys put, get a hose bucket or something. If you get this Oneida uh, bucket, you can pull it off quickly. And, I mean, none of these connections are tied in. They all just slip in there, and that thing just works flawlessly for, you know, that. And uh, keeps that filter clean. So we're good to go, ready to go. Dust collection's on check, check, check. And I'm getting ready to make a rag box. So laid out my new piece of uh, quarter inch plywood. I just got cheap stuff for this. And uh, I'm gonna box join it and cut it out. So I made this a couple weeks ago, been capping. Haven't really had a chance to mess it, let it go. So let's so engage the dust collector. Sitting outside, and we'll click start. And away we go. And what I do is I cut on two, on the cut these to where I'll make two passes. First pass is kind of like a line out pass, and uh, if I have small parts, it'll line out and it'll kind of mark to me where it's going because I haven't cut through it. And so I can shoot some. Uh, pins through it to hold it and of course I'm using a 23 gauge pin nailer with half inch uh, pins in it and they easily come out uh, so these are going over there and making this this rag box is about 18 by I don't know some on big so we'll just see how she comes out there and there we'll go Years. I got a couple of tacks in there, so it's not going to go too far. Well, while the CNC's over there cutting away, it'll enable me some time to work on some other projects. I made this for my crosscut saw, but I need this piece where it's adjustable and where it'll slide and uh, come off there. So what I'm going to end up doing is cutting off a quarter of this and put a slide that will slide through one of these so that it uh, uh, mill a slot in there so that it will slide back and forth. Alright, cut out my two pieces and I did not put a tack in there but it's big enough 
and it gets down to that last cut so it doesn't really move around a whole lot but you have little parts definitely put some uh, slots in it now i'll use that other side over there for uh, uh, probably the next piece flip it all right i'm gonna take the old sander and go over that real quick i think it's got some 180 grit on it just cut all these little fuzzies off of it and it'll make the joints just easy to put together and it'll take just a couple you know, not very long at all anyway let me get that done all right got two boxes that are sanded and ready to go i just copied each you know and did eight cuts anyway so i'm gonna lay these out and then get ready for glue up all right conclusion is it'll fit so i'm ready to throw the glue on there and get her done well, I'm taking half the clamps off of them. Getting ready to just kind of let them set uh, for a little while. I'll cut the tops off and uh, let me put the clamps, get put them away. All right, those come out square and ready to go. I did use some masking tape on the corners to hold them temporarily, which worked good. And then that held them together because they were really uh, hard to hold and keep them together until I used the masking tape. Anyway, so there's two rag boxes of different sizes. I'll just throw my rags out of my bags and put them in there and go to town while I was getting that done. I made this little gizmo over here. And uh, what it is, is it's just a slide or a step stop on the fence on the outside. I can use a clamp and a, and a board on this side to, you know, cut my dimensions. But when I get out to here, then I can kind of lose it out in this area with, uh, you know, a stop. So, of course, the fence is in the way there, but anyway, so that stops out there, and then push that back in or out, and then you can tighten that down if you want to and stop it, but it basically just uh, does that, and if you want to tighten it up some to keep it from moving around, you can go out there and crank her down, and crank that one down, and then away you go. So... Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna tighten that up just a hair. I might put a little bit of a piece of sandpaper on that to keep that from moving around on me. Anyway, so there we go, and that's what that does. So it's still a little bit green. I'm gonna get a little wax on it, get it to where it's working a little bit smoother. But anyway, so there you go. And then when I want it out of the way from the fence, just push it back in. And of course, it lock it out there the way. So there we go. All right. So I took down that mess and uh, put these up there. I mounted them to a, two pieces of plywood that went from the very top up there. There, it's easy to put the tops and the lids on and put rags in it. I didn't really want them out here. I thought about it out here, but I didn't want to get against that sharp edge coming in into the the door there so and when I was at it the uh, company that remodeled our house after we had a house fire on the roof and the inside they put these shells up and they didn't put any screws in any of this stuff and this thing's coming out away from the wall about that far so but that's pretty much the standard for what they did anyhow um, I redid that and moved that and then I moved this shelf right here and pulled some of this out of there just to start to uh, getting my my space ready to go I'm wanting to put my hand cleaner right here somewhere in here so that uh, when I get ready going to the house here I've got some hand cleaner anyhow that's what I'm working on I'm gonna fill it up with rags here in a little bit and let it rip all right that's what the rags totaled in there clean that out a little bit um, I, you know, I'll put the tops in there so I can lift them up. But you know what? I can stuff rag, rags in there. And, and uh, I'll just stuff all kinds of rags in there. I still have a bag full of rags, of towels. And, you know, I can put uh, quite a few in there yet to go. So, anyway, we'll see how that works. If this doesn't work, these are too big. Then I'm going to just put an overlay over the top of it. And uh, build it out. So that it'll be smaller. But right now, I can cram rags up in there and... And if I need to pull some out, I can just pull one out. If I need to put more in there, I can put more in there. And these are t-shirts. So, you know, 
that kind of deal. I'm afraid if I get it too tight, then I'll be trying to get something out of there. So we'll just see how this works. There it is. That was projects from yesterday.